we realized that the community in high performance computing was focused on performance, performance, and performance, and occasionally price performance. And so the realization was uh, uh, that there was perhaps a need for looking at other aspects of performance, namely energy and energy efficiency, uh, that would be equally important to the high performance computing community in moving forward uh, in the next decade. So Mama 2.0 is a supercomputer that's newly built and commissioned at Tokyo Institute of Technology. It's a 2.4 petaflop supercomputer, one of the fastest in the world. It was number four on the top 500. But it's also the tiniest and probably the most if power efficient supercomputer in the world. Keeneland is a platform that was designed for the National Science Foundation as a prototype test bed for uh, graphics processing on computational science applications. The size of the platform in its initial state is about um, 90 square feet, it has seven cabinets. One of the challenges is we're moving to the exascale, and this has been identified by DARPA, by DOE, by National Science Foundation as big problems, is looking at new technologies to get the power efficiency up in platforms that we're deploying in computational science. GPUs have demonstrated a great uh, power efficiency, and so we chose to use GPUs in Keeneland to, to improve that power efficiency and test it on real scientific applications. Well, Tsubame 2.0 is not just a uh, machine running Limpack. It runs uh, many important science applications at enormous scale. We have a weather code, a very accurate prediction of typhoons that runs with using over 4,000 GPUs at well over 150 teraflops. You know, that's a world record, allowing us to do real time or faster than real time simulation of typhoons down to resolution where we can, where we can predict rainfalls at very precisely, well beyond real time. Of the measured systems on the Green 500 list, what's probably most notable is the fact that accelerator-based systems were nearly three times more energy efficient than their non-accelerator-based counterparts. I would look at this list as being the year of the accelerator. 